Hello, hello. How's it going? Welcome back to Life is Strange Wavelengths. Okay, so before we start, if you haven't noticed by now, by the time this video comes out, uh, I changed my, on my channel, my profile picture and my banner. Now, don't get me wrong. I loved the originals. Um, but these ones were made by my friend and editor, Horatio. Um, and I did not ask him to do this. I did not ask him, like, oh, I want a new profile or whatever. He literally was just, like, one day, like, what if I drew, like, a new profile and banner and shit? I'm like, okay, sure. And so he did. Um, so just in case you haven't seen it yet, which I don't know how you couldn't, but just in case, uh, Horatio put up a picture of the profile picture right here. There it is. And then put up a picture of the banner. There it is. Um, and you can take them. You can take it down now. But I love the way he drew everything. Like I love, because I remember he sent me the the drawing origin the, the drawing for the profile, and I'm like, oh my god, I love that. Like it's it's more up to date, you know, like with the purple hair, and then like it has my jacket on, like the the the. I mean, you guys haven't seen me wear it, but it's um this like white and black. It's like a white leather jacket, like a biker jacket almost kind of, and it has like black stripes. And I got it because Dan from Game Crumbs has uh, the same jacket, and he said he doesn't wear anymore because it's like he doesn't wear it anymore because it's like old and you know run down and whatever. Um, but I was like, oh, that jacket's like so cute, like I want it. But he was like, oh, the the brand who makes it like doesn't make it anymore so I was like ah oh, damn but I ended up finding like a bootleg of it it's super like worn down but I love it um because I ended up finding like a bootleg of it um and then he have and then he has like a little like black hoodie on with like a little like the the stegosaurus or whatever which that is not an actual hoodie that I own but I still love that he drew it like the little black hoodie with like the stegosaurus um which is a reference to the Game Room's 10 minute power hour, or I guess just like Stegosaurus in general, because Dan loves Stegosauruses, and so I, I was never really much of a dinosaur person, but then I kind of like ended up liking Stegosauruses because him, I mean, you saw in the vlog, I was, if you watched it I, when we went to the museum, I was so excited to see the Stegosauruses, but on the power hour, they have the little like, you know, dinosaur skeletons, the Stegosaurus and the other one, I don't, I don't remember which one it is, um, but that's basically what that drawing is. It's just like a skeleton, a, a skeleton says Stegosaurus, which I mean, um, I, I think it was his intention to, um, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, wrong Horatio, but I think it was his intention to like draw it based off of the little toy one in the power hour, not just, you know, any skeleton Stegosaurus, because the way it's drawn, like the the simplicity of it is, you know, similar to the little toy they have on the table that they knock off every episode. Um, but yeah, I freaking love, and then, you know, it's, and then with the peace signs, it's a nod to, like, the, my old profile picture. <coughs> um, but he sent me that drawing, right, and I was like, oh, that's super cool, but, you know, I would want a background. And then, bam, he put in, like, a little, like, tie-dye, like, you know, whatever background, and I was like, oh, awesome. And then the banner, I freaking love the banner, like, the freaking synth wave because I think I asked him he was like oh what background would you want for like the profile picture I'm like oh, I'm thinking like tie day or something and then bam there you go and then I think he asked me like what do you want for the banner and I'm like someone synth wavy and then they're he provided synth wavy so it's freaking awesome I love it um but there's that <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet um <clears throat> But, okay, I had to replay a tiny bit of this. I just had to replay, like, the little, like, choices for the little memory or whatever. Um, but other than that, uh, we are back to where we are. Okay, uh, I still want to look at everything. Let's see. This thing grows more every session. My calm sci professor called that scope creep. Mm. Uh, I can move Elamon and roll the dice. Uh... Oh yeah, he said... I believe Elamon was about to enter the laboratory's engine room. Sounds right. Right, because I remember last time he said he was like, Elamon was up there last time or whatever. Oh, 
long bout of silence. Gotta love it. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck, I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom, Rachel's parents, half the town. There was no way, so I bailed. I understood. Everyone did. Wow, wait a freaking no, you did it. That's me. I don't understand how you did it. <coughs> me neither. I just kind of did. When I think about Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like, how can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. One where Arcadia Bay itself doesn't let's get try. destroyed. <sighs> okay, uh, let's the dice let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room bring it on <laughs> and that's minus five HP oh, come on how is your GMing even more devious from Seattle must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah. That sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. All right, cheese stuff. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Uh, sentimental. This one's slightly Maybe the better you just option. Can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Eh. Well, it's better than saying I'm freaking broken. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this. I need you. That's why I keep coming back. Look, school, look, I didn't look know what who you I did was without being Steph's best friend. <clears throat> and now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Don't say it's dumb. Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. Wait, Steph spent time in Seattle. Everyone. Wasn't Max 
Max Caulfield from the it first game, didn't she also move to Seattle? Continue. That was like a thing. She lived. She grew up in Arcadia, and then she moved Arcadia to Seattle, Bay, and then she. It's like went back the moment I start to care about someone, or some place. That's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong, and I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. Sure as hell felt like it, because at the end of the game, you freaking left. Adventure will always find you. <clears throat> Don't say this bullshit I never me. thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. So is this before or after you went and grabbed Gary? This is, at, this is before. Gabe's no, still waiting on those drinks. Take your damn turn. Because she was about to walk out the Just door and then Mikey called. Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. <clears throat> I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. Uh, I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, are we not actually playing a session? Dang. Oh, that's fine. I got my RPGing in. Oh, Christmas! I got my RPG. -ing okay, in. we've had no um, calls in the past hour, which means you're all oh, either New partying Year, or sleeping. Both of which I respect. Or is it just New Year? It's probably just New Year. It's, it's just winter time. I gotta times, say though, so. if you haven't tried spending New Year's yeah, Eve New Year's locked Eve. in a okay. small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. It's fine. I got my RPGing in in the actual game. Honestly, with Ethan and stuff, the LARP. I might do this every <coughs> year. Yeah, friggin' jinxed it. Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Oh, Gabe, uh, the high. It's everyone's favorite bartender. Uh, made any resolutions? How's the lantern? How's the lantern? How's the black lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? <laughs> I don't know. I left the work so I could talk to you about something. Okay. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Is this gonna be about What's Alex? What's on your mind? There's... Oh. Uh, someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. He found her. Possibly. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. Ooh. The thing is... It's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Uh, maybe you weren't ready? Maybe you weren't ready yet. <clears throat> maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. Aww. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? Aww. If only you knew, Gabe. If you only you knew I'm things were gonna turn out psychic, great. Right? Don't, don't say that it. live. Okay. Give me a second. I use a D20 to protect your future, man. Oh, Gabe, if only you knew. If only you knew how great things were gonna turn out before you died hmm. oh great you might not like what I'm seeing really what would be tough for Gabe but in a good way but the truth because everything turns out fine uh, serious commitment accepting the guilt <sighs> serious commitment I'm leaning a little more towards that you call her up, and it goes even better than you could have imagined. It's totally... You know, it's just like old times. Uh, just In five like old minutes, times. That's you're accurate. both cracking jokes, making references, laughing your heads off. Yeah, 
Isn't that it's like great? no time has passed at all. Uh, why is this bad? Because even while you're laughing and chatting, you feel heavier. You feel the weight of someone depending on you. So you rise to the challenge and learn to be responsible. You answer all her emails, reply to all her texts. You start using a calendar so you'd never forget a weekly phone call. Charlotte thinks it's hot. But honestly, it sucks. You miss your total free time and it scares the crap out of you how much you care about her. But it also feels right. And there's no question that you want to be there for her for the rest of your life. Aww. Thanks. Heck. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. So did you turn off great. the music to tap okay. the game, I'm assuming? Then I'll see you. Because she was like, oh, I'll throw on our record and call you, so I'm assuming no music's playing right now. <clears throat> and it's not just, you know, copyrighted. Oh, there we go. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. All right, we're doing this again. Taskless. Man. Last show, Last 2018. show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. Uh, if resolutions crush their dreams, question mark? Come on, man. Uh, does Gabe t t t uh, count as a, as a caller? I don't think he do. Okay, um... <laughs> Alright then. Oh jeez, a lot. Oh jeez, a lot. Okay. Okay, so Gabe's call did not count as one. Look at all these texts now. New issues done. Sick. When do I get copies for the shop? Uh, I can probably bring you some tomorrow. Heck yes. See you then. Uh, Mikey, uh, when's the last time we texted? I've lost track. Um, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Hit me up. Thank you for, I don't know, talking sense to me last night. We talked sense into each other. LOL, I basically, I said basically nothing. Hard to disagree. For the first time in a long time, I felt like I was actually talking to you. How are you feeling about it today? I don't know. Better, less haunted, I guess. That's good. That's a start. Hey, what's stopping Elmon from sailing further south if, after the campaign is over? I'd like to see how many more ways you can describe a bunch of ocean. You could try it, but the blue goddess, Juranus, does not allow to travel past the frozen fire because it's too close to your palace. Wait, really? I mean, yeah, now that I said it. You frick. Hello. Uh, how is life in the sticks, by the way? Still thinking about sledding? Uh, I don't know. No time soon. Haven's alright. It's not like where I see myself trying, but I like it here for now, I think. <clears throat> like, I don't know how, you know, how horror games have safe rooms where the monsters can't get you and you have a chance to heal up and reload before you get back out to blast the skulls off some more zombies. LOL, take your word for it. I'm a genre. Well, Heaven Springs is my safe room, I think. Reload, heal up, and then back out into the big, dangerous world. Good luck healing up. I wouldn't want to be the first zombie to cross your path once you do. Ch -ch Blam. <laughs> oh, Izzy texted. Uh, hi? Um. Oh, right. Hey, hi. So I unblocked you. Yeah, you sure did. LOL. Haha. <laughs> Ugh, I found. I just found this and thought you might want to copy. Aww. Oh wow, that's a really good pick of us. Lol, I know, right? I look hot. Oh, you really do, man. What a good day. Uh, yeah, anyway. Hit me up here if you're ever back in Seattle. I will. Oh, dang. Um. Okay. Alright. Uh. Alright, yeah. The 50 bucks thing is the last thing that I read. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Who drew on the laser disc standy? Somebody drew on the laser disc standy? I would never. Oh, I'm not bad. This shit is hilarious. What's to say? I'll show you next time you come by the shop. It's perfect. I just noticed and about put myself laughing, just trying to figure out who to congratulate on a job well done. Wasn't me, man. You know, I take credit. I've cleaned up too much trail graffiti. I would have died of guilt. Char, you're being mysteriously quiet. Long live the Asia duck. Charlotte. <laughs> okay, um. 
And then when's the last time I read one of these? Um... Okay, yeah, normal movies, not really. Okay, that's the last one I read. Dude, do you have my copy of The Sword of Dust and Daylight? Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally forgot I borrowed that. Oh, thank God, so that's not tickling mine. It's tickling all Ethan's, and he gets back from his desk tomorrow, and, like, he'd be pissed if we can't play it together. Oh, I'll swing back by with it after work. You're a total champ. Best puck, pin, go. X ray specs. Oh, well, you're so wrong. It's obviously the misfits. No misses what? <laughs> Best ter cartoon character, go. Hot dog man. Correct. Oh my god, references to the first game. Breakfast, best breakfast food go. Best and gravy smothered with hot sauce. How are you gonna do pancakes like that? Uh, shit. I know what. I know SMH is shaking my head, but I'm assuming the D is damn. Like, I love a good pancake. I will go to town on a fat sack of those suckers, but let's not kid ourselves. Pancakes are already zoo food. What? I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. They're sweet, they're sticky, they have no nutritional value. Oh, I'm sorry. And best and gravy are superfood. Whatever, you know the rules. We can only argue for 30 seconds per topic. Best place in heaven to have a picnic. Go. The park. A pier. Come on, man. Oh, okay, yeah, I changed my answer. Oh, well. Okay, time out. Gotta get ready for work. <laughs> um, alright. Longmont. Nope. Too far. Estes Park. Nope. Denver. Denver. Uh, hi? What? The, a cosplayer. Okay. Haven Springs. Oh, Haven Springs! Not like other girls. Yeah, alright, sure. See if she actually messages me. Boulder. You thought darn. I don't even know where that is. Denver. Littleton. I'm only gonna pick ones in Castle Rock. Oh, hey! I'm close to Castle Rock. How about that? It's like 30 minutes from here. Or like downtown Castle That's Rock is like 30 minutes from any. here. Time to say goodbye to this app. Well, I did one. I'm only gonna do Haven Springs, cause, you know, everywhere else in Colorado is way too far, I'm assuming, cause, like, every, every, everything is, like, so, like, far spread out in Colorado. Uh, didn't get a message from the one girl in Haven Springs, though, so, oh well. Was it Co Haven Springs or was it Colorado Springs? I think it was Haven Springs. Uh, okay, anyway. Oh, Tally Foosball School, like, again, huh? Listen to my final song. Ooh. Uh, let's read an ad first, though. Let's, uh... Hey, it was auto repair. How about that? I'm glad I said that. Would, would, would it have said, uh... I forgot what the other one was, but would it have said the other one if I freaking said the other one? Uh, okay, actually. Hey, whoops! We... Okay, wrong button. I hit B for back, but A was technically the leave button. I was gonna back out and then pause. Because the music was going. Because um, this episode went on a little bit longer. I got caught up in reading texts and stuff. Um, but anyway. I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.